Hey Scorpio, welcome to your mid-monthly reading for September 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are going to go through some general messages for you guys for the rest of the month. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. But let's see, Scorpio, what is going on for you guys? We have partners, partnerships and alliances. This is the three of wands. Uh, we also have harmony, which is the lovers. All right, interesting. What's going on for Scorpio, the rest of September? We have victim mentality. Uh, which says you are learning to understand that everything happens through you, not to you. And we also have uh, number 55, healing cocoon of light. Your angels come to you now and surround you in a healing cocoon made of light. Bottom of the deck, we have vibrational match, number 10. You are sending out new signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. I feel like there could be a new partnership or a new relationship coming towards you um especially with that being the three of wands makes me feel like there's something headed your way um you also could just be like on the same page as someone as well it, the, somebody that's already in your life what else is going on with scorpio here we have empathy it says i'm open to seeing both sides of a situation and we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So for the most part, I just feel like you're getting on the same page as someone. Um, there could be definitely new experiences if you've walked away from things or, you know, relationships in your life, whether they're friendships, romantic relationships, family relationships that have ended. Um, you're appreciating them. You're being open to seeing all of it from all sides. And I feel like it's helping you align with things that you want to connect with. So let's see, Scorpio. What's going on for you guys? The end of September here. What's going on for Scorpio for the rest of September? We have the Eight of Wands. The Tower. The Moon. We have the Seven of Cups, the Three of Wands, which came out here and it's in the center. We have the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Sun. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Something's coming in here for you, and I feel like it's a partnership. It doesn't have to be love, but it definitely could be. It's, it's something where you and this person are going to be working together or uh connecting with the hierophant here it could even be like a mentor of some sort but with the king and queen of wands it almost feels like you're on the same page like you're on the same level i just feel like this is almost saying you're going to be working together or again if it's a relationship you're going to be in a relationship together but for some of you this is about to be revealed with the tower the moon and the eight of wands and the high priestess here at the bottom of the deck yeah two of swords and then ace of pentacles like you don't see this headed your way so this is something that I feel like you're manifesting or attracting towards you. Because with the moon, the king of wands, the sun, it's like something hidden comes to light. Options coming towards you. Seven of cups, three of wands, king of wands. And we have the masculine and the feminine here with the king and queen of wands and the moon and the sun. So there's some sort of partnership and it's, it almost could be too, if it's just, it doesn't have to be like a male and a female, right? Or it's just like the two of you bring different things to the table, right? One's more masculine, one's, one's maybe more feminine in nature. But I feel like with the Tower Three of Wands, Hierophant, this is something that's coming towards you. And I feel like for a lot of you, it could be relatively quick. Clarify this Eight of Wands. For Scorpio. Now, obviously, this tower energy is you. Yeah, uh, Eight of Wands is clarified by the Page of Cups. So there's communication coming in, Knight of Wands. 
someone or something is taking action, whether that's you or them. I feel like it's someone taking action though towards you with this moon. Clarify the moon energy. We have the three of swords, the knight of pentacles. I almost feel like you're just, you're just getting over something or you've just are, you're slowly moving away from something that's been challenging for you, right? This grief, letting something go. And then it's like, boom. Clarify the tower. Yeah, five of cups. And then we have the star. The star comes after the tower. So you could have gone through a, a tower moment and then I feel like there's all of a sudden this like turnaround almost. Someone could have said something that was a bit of a tower moment as well. And I feel like you're starting to come out of that. Why is the seven of cups here for Scorpio? Eight of pentacles, judgment. Some of you could be focused on your job. Could also be trying to decide what you're gonna put your energy and effort into or what you would like to put your energy and effort into. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, like you're, I feel like you're kind of minding your business. Yeah, High Priestess, like you're kind of doing your own thing. And I almost feel like that's when this comes in. Three of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, yeah. There's some sort of form of a connection that's coming in here. I feel like it could make you really happy with the sun here. It's also going to be like very obviously in your awareness. What's the sun here? Ten of wands, four of cups. What's the sun here for? Some of you could meet this person while at work or it could be a work partnership. Ten of wands, knight of wands, seven of pentacles. I'm getting this energy of like someone being like, hey, do you need help with that? So <laughs> I don't know if that's how you meet this person, if they're brand new. Some of you can meet this person at school or at some sort of like institution, like a I mean, maybe some of you meet this person at like church or something, but um, it feels like you've got something like Ten of Wands is making me feel like you, you've got a lot to carry and someone's like, hey, can I grab the door for you? Like, it's like very, I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's very specific. Uh, tell me about this person that they're going to be connecting with. So what's this, who's this person Scorpio is going to be connecting with? I also feel too that you, you or this person may have to kind of like hold back their excitement as well. That could be what that's saying. Queen of Swords, what's this person like? I feel like they're very smart. Two of Pentacles. Judgment. Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's a very practical, very logical sense to this person, like, kind of like a take it or leave it type of energy. I also feel like they're going to be very upfront and they may also be very like, I almost want to say like present you with like a, an option in the sense of like, is this what you want? Is it, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. Is it, what are you looking for? Like they're very like upfront, very clear and direct. Three of Cups. Uh, yeah, I feel like this person's like, they know what they want, they're going. Three of Cups, we have the Chariot. I feel like they might also be like, hey, do you wanna go out? Like they'll just like, <laughs> it'll be like two seconds into the conversation and this person just like, they are very forthcoming. What's the advice here for Scorpio? We have the Four of Wands. Yeah, I feel like 
yeah, justice. And the four pentacles, which flipped out in reverse. So I feel like it's asking you to be open. We have the world card here. Again, I keep getting drawn to this, this vibrational match. We also have heart opening behind that, which says someone you know, it may even be you, is withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. I feel like it's asking you to open up. Four pentacles reverse. Because there's, a, an, I, there's an opportunity for you and someone to come together in some form of a partnership or contract. It definitely could be love for some of you, but it also could be something that provides a sense of stability or a foundation, or it could be work-related, okay, collaborative type of energy. But I do feel like this person's going to be like, hey, do you want to do this? <laughs> like they're just going to be very, very clear, very direct. They definitely could be a person with like Aries or like a strong Mars placement where it's like they just, all they know is how to be blunt. Like they're just very, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I want. Um, you don't have to guess with this person. So I feel like it's asking you to be open because I feel like maybe you've gone through something here that has triggered some form of like something painful that you've like walked away from. Maybe you're seeing your healing, you're seeing both sides of it. You know, you're working through it slowly, Knight of Pentacles. And then while you're doing that, these options and opportunities, or there's a person I feel like come that wants to get to know you. I almost feel like you're focused on minding your own business and doing your own thing. And then this person comes across your path. And I feel like it's requiring you to close out this other thing very quickly. Like it just feels like one thing ends, the next thing starts. But I feel like it's because you're attracting it vibrationally. Like it's something that's matching your vibration. And that's why it's coming in so quickly because you're in alignment to bring this in right now, whether you feel that way or not. So I feel like it could be very exciting. I do feel like there's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion here between the two of you. Um, I also feel too, this person could be providing you a relationship that you have wanted. It does provide a sense of stability, something you've been waiting for um, that maybe you didn't get from this past situation. I feel like you're starting to get, you're gonna be getting that from this current situation and they're gonna be very upfront is what I'm getting. And it might be kind of like random of how you meet this person for some of you, if you haven't met them already. But that's what I got for you, Scorpio. Hopefully that resonates. If not, you can check out any of your other signs. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.